Hello there, everyone, and welcome to my bar. It's me, Ansel Birch, the Indecisionist, and I will be your dungeon barkeep today. What? Sorry? What's that? Sorry, sir, um, are you a, I hate to ask, are you a sandwich? We don't serve food here. Yeah, sorry, try the place down the street. They've got a kitchen. All right, have a nice day. Hate doing it. Uh, hey, welcome to the bar. Um, my name is Ansel Birch. Like I said, I will be your your dungeon barkeep today. Now, I am no expert mixologist, though I may look it. I uh, barely know my way around the bar, and uh, frankly, my adventures have led me in a lot of strange places, but the strangest of which is where you are right now. You see, this bar doesn't have a call list. It doesn't have menus. In fact, all I have is a set of gaming dice and a willingness to try whatever they give me. So, I have a list of rules uh, that include all of the ingredients I have at hand. I'm going to roll a set of gaming dice, and that's going to decide every single ingredient that goes into a brand new cocktail today. Uh, I'm even going to pick a name from a list suggested by a bunch of folks uh, who are friends on social media. So, what do you say? Are you ready to get started and try this all out? I hope the answer is yes, because that's what we're going to do! Uh, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and activate this thing that was working just a second ago. There we go. All right. So the first roll of the night is going to be a d4. So let me grab my, my dices. And we'll go ahead, and that d4 is going to choose a mixer, an essential mixer. Uh, so here we go. Excellent. And that is a 4. Uh, so we're going to use juice today. Juice is intentionally vague. It gives me some place to go, which is nice. Um, what spell brought my ears back? Uh, it's It was a scissors spell cast by a professional, thankfully. It was the first time I visited such a professional in over a year. Uh, and uh, let me tell you, it feels good. It feels good to uh, to see my ears again. Uh, yeah, thank you for the thank you, Cookie. I'm, I'm glad you think it's fresh. Uh, or at least you recognize that it has not existed for a very long time. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I like the new dice cam setup too with the with the picture in picture thing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Psycho Pyro. Uh, I'm glad you like it. Uh, all right, so like I was saying, uh, juice is intentionally vague. It could mean any number of juices. I've got a few kinds of citrus on hand. I've also got a few cans of special nectars, uh, just, you know, for the right occasion. Uh, so, that being handled, let's go ahead and move on to our next die of the evening. That's going to be a d6 for a garnish. And I do go through this kind of fast, and I do say kind of, um, but that's because the fun part is the mixing. So, um, uh, you know, hopefully I don't go too quickly. Let sugar rim! All right, today we are going to make something that requires a sugared rim. Uh, so I am inclined to make whatever juice, uh, be the citrus that I'm going to use to get the sugar to adhere to the rim. Uh, that's probably how that's going to be, so we won't be using any of the nectars today, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see what else is going in here. Uh, but yeah, sugared rim. All right, that'll be a fun garnish. Now we're going to go to the less essential mixers. These are things that are, you know, not as important. Um... So our less essential mixers uh, include tonic and Sprite and ginger ale and all kinds of other stuff. And I'm going to roll a D8 to pick which one goes in this cocktail. That's a two, so we're going with Sprite. Uh, I, it occurred to me recently that of all the talk about... Just put that there. Uh, of all the talk I have about not using labels on this channel, uh, I've just put Sprite and Coke on the thing like, like it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, so Sprite is what's going to go in there. Uh, and last thing we need to do is pick a liquor, uh, and that's going to be a D10. So let's go ahead and hit the liquor. Six. All right, so a six on the liquor chart is tequila. All right, so we're we're making a margarita is what we're doing. We're, we're just doing it without the triple sec. Yeah, this is going to be a, a poor, per, uh, uh, not a poor, what, what's a better way to put that? Uh, an off-brand margarita. Uh, margarita without the oomph. Uh, an oomphless margarita, but it's not over yet. We still have to put a name on this thing, and that, that might uh, help me decide on a few final uh, flourishes. Yeah, gravity is working. Thank you, Julia. Um, 
<laughs> Thank you, Patty. The weight difference in my head has knocked me off balance. That that must be it. Yeah, it was a lot of hair to cut. That's absolutely true. If you look at even last week's video, you'll see the difference. Uh, all right, so it's time for the star of the show. Oh, uh, man, I keep trying to do it. Before we get to a name, ooh, now there's suspense. We're going to roll a d12 to pick a bar term. This is the pseudo-educational portion, if not for you, at least for me, because it means I have to keep reminding myself uh, of what's, uh, what, uh, what a bar person does. Uh, so I rolled an 11, which on this is neat. Uh, neat is exactly what it sounds like. It's usually a pour of just the liquor, so we're not going to add any mixers or anything like that to it. Uh, obviously, today we're not going to be doing it neat, um, but uh, here's hoping that we'll, what I make will be neat. Now, it is time for us to roll the d20, the star of the show, and pick a name for today's cocktail. This is an interesting one because I have to, like, there we go. All right, so here's our d20. Ha-ha! <laughs> Nat 20! Woo! Uh, value time arena. I like it. There it is. Value time arena. Uh, 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 all right. Um, uh, so, uh, that means that this is going to be called Alchemist's Fire. Oh, okay. Huh, 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 huh. Okay. Uh, if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know that anytime the word fire comes into the title of a cocktail, I get excited. So let's head over to the bar top cam and see how this comes together. All right, so I've got a plate here, and I'm going to use that for my sugared rim. So before I forget, because I tend to forget, I'm going to go ahead and prep that sugared rim. So I'm going to start off by, obviously, generic brand Arita. Uh, mimosa, I would want champagne, though, right? Am I, am I thinking of the wrong thing? Yeah, I have to light it on fire now. You're right, Psycho Pyro, and uh, it's appropriate that you're the person to, uh, to suggest it. Uh, but yeah, I think I have to light it on fire. I think those are the rules. All right. All right, so. Uh, so Alchemist's Fire, if you haven't played much D&D, &D, uh, Alchemist's Fire is a highly flammable substance that combusts in contact with air. Um, there are a number of real-world analogs. Um, and it's a very popular adventuring item for exactly the reason you'd think. You can throw a bottle of it at somebody and it catches on fire, which is always a good time. Uh, so how can I work that into today's cocktail? Well, uh, I am going to go with this beautiful Karakara orange that has been patiently waiting by the side of uh, the bar for a couple weeks now. I'm not all that fancy. I only know what it, uh, the kind of orange is because it says so on the bag it came in. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get a cross-section of that. There we go, a nice orange wheel. Plop that on there. Do, 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 do. Am I being maybe a little aggressive with it? Maybe. But this is a fun drink, and I'm remembering the garnish ahead of time, so I'm going to have fun with it. All right, so sugar brim. Do, 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 do. Oh, that'll do. All right, so I've got a nice heavily sugared rim there. Ooh. that over to the side where it won't get into trouble. All right, so we'll put that off to the side up here. Put our oranges over here where we'll all see them. This way I won't forget them. Uh, all right, uh, so this drink 
tequila, juice, and Sprite. I don't think there's any reason to shake this, except that citrus drinks generally want to be shaken. So, I've got a shaker. Let's use it. Why not? What's it gonna hurt? All right, get my nice big juice squeezer. This is gonna be sweet as all heck. That was an exciting squeeze. All right. So while I'm doing this, let's let's think about what kind of adventure Alchemist's Fire fit in, fits into if it's going to be a drink like this. Um, I feel like Alchemist's Fire... Alchemist's Fire is great because it fits into every game. Uh, but if it's going to be a, like, fruity, citrusy... Uh, you know, a, an actually delicious cocktail as opposed to some sort of highly alcoholic nightmare, which is what my inclination would be for for Alchemist's Fire, then, um, yeah, I suppose that it behooves us to think about... Oh, it's got to be an Alchemist's Guild, right? Maybe our, our adventure is that... Um, our heroes need to find their way into a guild of alchemists. All right, we're going to do two ounces of tequila. Our adventurers need to find our way into a, uh, a like a uh, an alchemist school. Yeah, um, and the alchemists uh, have a you know tr traditional drink that they uh, particularly like. And so the party goes in asking for Alchemist's Fire, not realizing that they're ordering a cocktail. Maybe it's a test. Oh, I like that idea a lot, Psycho Pyro. Uh, maybe <laughs> Rebecca Birch says uh, alchemists take vacations too. They have to mix this to get in. Yeah, you know, I like that idea. Maybe the the party shows up and they're like, okay, we're, we're going to try and infiltrate this, this group of alchemists. The alchemists are like, if you want to join, if to join our group you wish, you will, you must create alchemists fire from scratch and the party is like oh shoot we don't know anything about alchemy uh, and then somehow there's a, a series of tests that that somehow reveal that what the alchemists are actually asking for is a cocktail all right so there it is our off-brand arita a blam, and it's never fully dressed without a smile. There we go. So, all right, so here we are. If I can figure out how to hold it. Oh, wait, straws. Boom. Alchemist's Fire. It's just as tasty as we all thought it would be, but there's an important element missing. So you may have noticed I saved back half of this orange, so I'm going to set that on top. Plop a sugar cube on there. Grab my Gnomish Fire. 
Only the finest gnomish fire from the finest gnomes, or fire gnomes, I guess I should say. All right. That is a secret thing that, uh, if you really want to know, send me a private message, but it's, you know, YouTube. All right, so, there we go. Alchemist's fire. It's, um, it's sweet, it's lightly citrusy, it's, te the tequila is very, very forward. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know how else to say this, it wants triple sec, <laughs> it wants the triple sec, um, but all things considered, for being an off-brand Arita, you could do way worse. Um, the sweetness of the orange really brings a lot to the party. The tequila is holding up its end of the bargain, and the Sprite is doing a uh, admirable job trying desperately to be triple sec. <laughs> Not the mustache! I know, I know. It could be a, yeah, it could be a reward after an adventure, like, like Rebecca said, yeah. So maybe, maybe they discover that they've found the alchemists in the midst of their time off, and the alchemists are, are messing with them. I think it's nice to have a, like, high-stakes, testy sort of adventure uh, hook that turns into a, uh, a time for them to party with the NPCs. That's a really fun uh, way to do it, so that it's not all tension all the time but there's like a reveal built in. So I, uh, I like that a lot. So there we have it. We have the beginnings of an adventure and, a, and an adventurous cocktail. <sighs> Friends, I present you the Alchemist's Fire. Drink adventurously. And if you are uh, still around the internet uh, day after tomorrow on Friday evening, you can check out Starlight Radio Dreams monthly sh live stream. I will be hosting, and I've written a couple pieces, including a monstrous sitcom called Meet the Frankensteins. It's going to be a really good time, and tickets are just $10. You can check that out at Starlight Radio Dreams ha uh, slash hash next dash show. The link is in the doobly-doo, and I hope to see you there. Drink adventurously, friends.